Okay, hold on. Wait, how does turning off the beacons help them find me? Oh dear god, okay. That's that's actually monsters. I was wondering what the heck that is. Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. Today we're playing Beaconfall. We're a middle-aged dude trapped in the mountains, and we gotta activate some beacons to try Excuse to me. escape. Are you there? Okay, good. Listen, listen to me carefully. You are in serious danger. Get up. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, thank Listen, you, early 2000s you there, YouTuber. There are monsters wandering that location that live there. If they see you, they will try and eat you. Do you understand that? You need to run, and I can't track your exact location, so once you turn off enough of those beacons, you can alert a rescue team. Good luck. Please, try and survive. What the hell did we do? Yeah, we just like jackknifed into the mountain? Okay. Uh, well that pilot clearly was working for Boeing. Or maybe I'm a Boeing whistleblower, that was what's happening here. Yeah, okay, well this is concerning. It's a lot more confined than I thought it was gonna be. I do like that I actually am apparently having a... I have enough of a sprint speed that I'm pretty much approaching the land speed record. Yeah, Doom Guy got nothing on this. So yeah, that kind of sets the whole stage here. We uh, have an angry British person with a very bad microphone telling us that we need to escape or we're gonna die. And uh, yeah, pretty much all that I knew about this game and was kind of sold on the idea. I remember playing something like this like a year and a half ago or so, a very similar premise. Yeah, it was a little bit more open, it was a little bit less linear than this one is, but... Oh, hold on. Um, I just remembered, as you turn on those beacons, there are a lot more monsters towards you, so the more you turn on, the harder the time you're gonna have. Be persistent, okay? Can you turn them off, and we'll be able to find you. Okay, hold on, wait, how does turning off the beacons help them find me? Oh dear god, okay. That's, that's actually monsters. I was wondering what the heck that is. Uh, oh, this is bad. This is really bad, and I don't know what happens if I... If I die. Also, why why an air raid siren? Oh, don't tell me it's Siren Head. Don't tell me Siren Head is coming over here for a frickin' snack. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's there's more of them. Uh, okay, well, this is at least a slightly wider canyon. What the fudge? What is that that I'm seeing in front of me here? Okay. Uh Okay. Oh Jesus. Oh boy, they are. They are not a fan of me, uh... Okay, well, the only one of them seems to have aggroed to me so far. Oh dear god, and there's more. There's more of these little beacons to it. There's more of these things. What are these? First off, why would you put... Oh. Okay, well, those ladders are just there to be like, Haha, psych, gotcha, fucker. Uh, yeah. Okay, why would you put satellite dishes in the bottom of a mountain? Wouldn't it make more sense to put them on the top, or am I just crazy? I mean, admittedly, I don't generally build satellite dishes. Unless I'm trying to, like, smoke out someone's drone just to be an asshole. Okay, well, that's... There's at least six of them in play here. Alright, so I imagine there's gonna be more. Oh boy, oh boy. Yep, yeah, there's there's a handful more of them. Uh, so what was that? That was three? Yeah, that was three of the beacons. The other ones are probably gonna be down that route that was a little bit infested. Yeah, I do know that this game was actually made by... It was somebody that made it in like seven days, and they'd apparently never picked up Unity, so I am gonna give it a little bit of credit. I'm not, I'm not gonna like hold too much against them if I can avoid it. Uh, let's look up... What the fudge? Am I the size of my girlfriend? What the hell? I'm like ankle height. What? Where? What on earth? Okay, I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm playing as a toddler. Although, I don't know, the, the stories people, like my friends with kids tell me is that, you know, kids can go ahead and actually get remarkably speedy when they want to. Okay, well that thing's gonna be down there. Uh, these guys... Oh, I really hope these guys don't. Are these guys just patrolling, then? Is that what's happening here? Are these guys just, like, patrolling... ...around, or are they... 
Are they actively seeking a problem? Oh yeah, that's fine. Here, let me just go Skyrim my way up the mountain. Tuck and roll. Alright, perfect. It's okay, I didn't need those kneecaps anyway. Alright, well that's... So that's three beacons down. I genuinely thought I just saw something stalking through the woods there and I was not going to be very pleased. Uh, come on, come on. Oh god. Okay, there's one of them. No. No, you are not allowed to go that quick. Come on, up and over. Oh fudge, oh fudge, do not get wedged, do not get wedged. These things are actually surprisingly quick. Okay. Alright, I think I might have lost him when I went up the... when I went up there. This is actually decently tense. I don't know, environments like this always remind me of a... Uh, of a really old horror game that I once saw someone playing called... I remember this dream. And the whole premise was that you were like evading in the woods from some, it was like some monster and it was all, the whole world was like very black, gray and white. But the creature, what it was, it was like this weird thing in a black cloak with basically a deer skull for a head. And the whole monster's design would like really effectively blend in. And it, it was just a very creepy game. I remember actually really liking the idea behind it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, run, run, run. Jesus, that was close. Okay, uh, oh boy. You know what I should have done? I should have done this one last. I should have waited for the first one. Okay. Okay, okay, there's one of them kind of camping it. Get out of here, you. Alright. There we go. And now what? Now do I call for rescue and then it's like lull siren head comes and kills me? Oh, well there we go. A rescue team arrived shortly afterwards and rescued you. This is my first ever game. I made with Unity. Thanks for playing. You know what? That was actually a competent little game. I I did not mind that in the slightest. Yeah, uh, developer, good job. This was enjoyable. Um, maybe in the future, tone down the color correction a bit. Or if you wanted to expand on this idea, I'd like maybe a bit of a bigger world. But th this is very indie. This is very, like, first-time developer. But as a first-time developed game, this was not bad at all. I actually had a lot of fun with this. Good job. So thank you guys very much for hanging out and watching Beaconfall. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know how you felt about this one, and I look forward to seeing you all in another video very soon.